In this driving lesson video, we're going to talk about courtesy, both for the driving test and for driving in general. Courtesy in its simplest form just means showing respect for other road users and displaying good road manners. This could be done in the following ways, for example, by yielding to an ambulance, fire engine or guard car, by not tailgating other vehicles, and by not sounding your horn or revving up the engine when you are close to horseback riders. Driving with consideration for others is a very important part of driving. You should never underestimate the impact that a lack of courtesy could have on other drivers, especially inexperienced ones, learners, and those that are mentally fragile. Let's look at some examples now where you can show good courtesy on the road. So firstly, let's look at this situation here where the yellow car is looking to emerge onto the main road and you're the blue car. Now you can't go around letting every single car out because remember, technically you have the right of way. But if you feel that the yellow car here, for example, is having some difficulty getting out on the main road and the traffic is quite busy, then you could potentially hold back and allow him to merge safely. So allowing cars to merge from a side road shows consideration for others. It's good practice to engage eye contact with the other driver. That way he knows that you're aware of his existence. However, don't beckon him across, like don't, don't give him any waves like that, because if you do that, he may rush out and not take the proper observations. Also in this situation, it's usually best just to let the one car out as you don't want to be holding traffic up behind. It's also a good idea not to block this entrance here. So let's say there's a queue of cars and the yellow car might be there and the red car is there and you're here. So it's good for you, the driver of the blue car, not to come up here because that way you'll be blocking this um, entrance just in case another car needs access from this side. So it's best to hold back there just like that and read the road ahead and don't move forward until you are sure that you won't be blocking this part of the road here. Okay, so let's bring the yellow car back here now for a second. Now, if somebody lets you out, so let's say you're the driver of the yellow car and the blue car is allowing you to proceed. That's okay, that's fine. That shows that the blue car is showing you some politeness and consideration. Now it's perfectly okay for you as the driver of the yellow car to proceed, as long as it's safe, you have to make sure you do your checks and make sure that the blue car hasn't changed his mind and make sure that there's nobody overtaking the blue car and all that kind of stuff. You can absolutely give the blue car a quick thank you wave. There's nothing wrong with that, but you're probably better off doing it just as you're crossing the white line and that way the thank you wave can't be confused with any other hand signal because you're already in the process of moving out anyway. So it's fine to give a thank you wave um, to show your gratitude, but uh, do it quick, keep it brief, and uh, avoid any confusion. At a zebra crossing like this, or a pelican crossing like this with the flashing amber lights, you must give way to people who are about to cross or in the process of crossing the road. Again, making eye contact is a useful way to let the pedestrians know that they've been seen by you. Do not beckon the pedestrians across the road because if you do that, they may rush across the road without double checking for cars that are not stopping at the pedestrian crossing. You're better off letting them make their own minds up about crossing and that way they're more likely to be extra cautious and not rush out carelessly. Remember, by not beckoning a pedestrian to cross the road, you are showing them good courtesy and you are helping them to take the right decision. Another way of showing courtesy to other road users is by checking your side mirror and by looking over your shoulder just before you open your door to exit your vehicle. This means you're going to be more aware of joggers, motorbike riders, and of course, cyclists who could be nearby. You should encourage your passengers to do the same. And speaking of cyclists, it's always good to allow extra clearance when you are overtaking a cyclist. Sometimes cyclists may swerve from side to side due to tiredness or because of bad weather or maybe because they are looking to avoid some potholes. Be aware of this 
and in areas where the speed zone is up to 50 kilometers allow one meter and in areas where the speed limit is over 50 kilometers allow a meter and a half you should also allow buses to move out if they are signaling to do so up ahead this shows good courtesy to the bus driver and the passengers but watch out for any passengers that might be hidden behind the front or the side of the bus so i hope this video helped you if you found it useful please give it a thumbs up and i will be back soon with another video in fact i'll be back on saturday with a live stream at midday so tune in then if you want to ask me any questions about the driving test or any driving questions in general. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.